want to talk to you about two opposing paradigms, folks, and I want to see if one of you can really help me resolve them, okay? Paradigm one, okay? Let's take Thoreau, for example. Thoreau, you know, he never owned any property as, well, I don't really know, but anyway, he was harmless, okay? And so one day, as he came wandering away, you know, from Walden's cabin to go into town and maybe pick up a bag of salt or something like that. <laughs> They threw him in jail because no one remembered him paying any taxes. You see, everyone remembered everyone else paying taxes, but Thoreau happened to wander in one day when they were all fresh from getting collecting taxes, and the tax man and the old town member said, Hey, by gosh, I don't think Thoreau here has ever paid taxes. So, you know, Thoreau, I don't know if you know anything about him. He's one of, you know, uh, Henry Thoreau, the author, you know, the author of Walden. You might, most of you still have heard of Walden's pond somewhere in there, and you're unconscious mind still in there you know, Walden's Pond something American about that anyway so they threw him in jail <laughs> he hadn't done anything and he hadn't been living any differently than he always lived and so they threw him in jail and um, he would have stayed in jail except someone unspecified paid his taxes for him and he was released and when he was released you know what he said he said you didn't have I wish you hadn't paid my taxes for me that's what he said because he said, you know, if I'm gonna, I have to be somewhere, I might as well be in your nice warm jail as anywhere else. <laughs> of course, you know, that was before, you know, today's jails. This is back in those days, you know, America was just starting, so you had to sell all to yourself with a harmless drunk somewhere in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They didn't have serial killers and sexual predators back then. I wonder what changed. So, anyway. <clears throat> So, you know, you could say, like, God, you know, that was really unfair of them to do that to Thoreau because, you know, everyone knew it was just sort of a joke because he was sort of a joke around there. So, you know, and don't tell me because I had a professor lecture about how he was just sort of a joke, okay? So blame it on him. <clears throat> so anyway, of course, not his legacy. Legacy yeah, wasn't a joke. But they thought of him as a joke at the time, and he went to Harvard, and he was thought of as a joke there. So anyway, um... <clears throat> You know, this is what goes on, okay? So I'm, this is where we get to my, my two conundrums here, okay? So we have the Jesus attitude, okay? The Jesus attitude goes, okay, they took me and they threw me in jail. But that's on them. That isn't on me. I didn't do anything. They just took me and threw me in jail. And if they're going to take me and throw me in jail, then let them. Let the children, they know not what they do. Throw me in jail. I'll just sit in jail. Sucking my thumb, sitting in jail, just like they want me to, because after all, what I think in my head, as Socrates said, is what I always think in my head. And what I believe in my heart, after all, is what I believe in my heart. And nothing they do to my body can ever change that. So, you know, really it's all on them, and I don't care what they do. I just sit here, do, 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 do. Well, you know, they, they do their foolishness and have their shenanigans, and when they're done having their fun, I'll leave. That's opinion number one. Opinion number two goes, Jesus Christ, I just let them do this to me and I didn't do anything. I mean, how am I supposed to go up to God afterwards? This is the Harry Chapin argument, okay? Harry Chapin was a singer and a songwriter who wrote songs that make you guys just puke your guts out now if you had to hear them. And he was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for feeding hungry people. That's why his family lived in penury, which means they were poor, for those of you who can't know, know what penury is. And, you know, because he spent all his money and proceeds feeding hungry people and fighting starvation. And he said the reason was because when he died and went to heaven, when God turned to him and said, what did you do? He wanted to say he did something. It wasn't even enough that he wrote all this great music. He wanted to say, I tried to do something to combat evil in my world because I didn't want God to turn to me and say, why didn't you do something? So now we see we're back to Thoreau in jail, and it's like, well, he, let's say he died in jail. Let's say he died in jail for whatever reason. It's not unheard of. He died in jail, and now he's in for God, and he, God, and he says to God, well, man, I died in jail. And God says, well, why didn't you do something? I mean, you could have, there was a hole right there. You could have crawled out, but you didn't do anything, so you died there. Now, I want to say this isn't a perfect example, okay? I mean, so, there, this is a classic argument and philosophical dilemma that starts with Socrates the Crito, okay? 
And this goes when Socrates was sentenced to death by the people of Athens for corrupting the youth with his ideas, you see, because he wandered around. They didn't have newspapers or printing presses back then. So what he actually did, Socrates, is he wandered around on his bare feet just talking in the streets with his ideas, and eventually they killed him for it. And you know how they killed him for it? It was just like today, folks. They didn't just say, we don't like what you have to say, fuck you. They said, Socrates, you're corrupting the youth of Athens. And so they killed him for corrupting the youth. This is a place where they had sex with their youth. So, and I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that, boy, how things change. Or don't. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is like, um, yeah, that's a classic idea. I mean, where do you fall on that line? Is it like, well, they did this to me, and yeah, it's on them, and it's not really my responsibility, versus why didn't you do something? Okay, all these soldiers sign up to go overseas to take bullets to be dissected by Afghani women, but you just sat here. Versus, well, you know, well, you know, whatever they do, just, I'll just turn the other cheek. Where do you fall, guys?